My name is Matt Weaver. I'm one of the founders and uh, co-owners of Results Transformation Centers and NB Transformation Centers in Sacramento and Reno, Nevada. So I think it's really important to just get out and connect with yourself every now and then. Usually I'll listen to a book or music, but I notice that sometimes when I go out and I'm not listening to the books and I'm not listening to music and I'm not around other people, it really gives me a chance to reflect on on just how awesome you know things really are around you. The hustle and bustle is always there, but I think going out and, and going out for a walk and going out for a run and enjoying all the beauty that we have around us, especially in a place like Sacramento with the river running through it, beautiful sunrises and, and sunsets, that's super important and it's really easy to ignore how important it is to just get out there and move and be reflective on everything that you've got going on. And I think uh, giving yourself some time to do that brings some clarity to uh, areas that might be kind of hazy and gray with all of the noise and chatter that we've got with social media and the hustle and bustle of work and, and just having so many different people that we're thinking of and advocating for. Give you some time to advocate for yourself and, and really reflect and be happy. Interview, take one. Results Transformation Centers are a really special part of my life and, and our business has uh, grown quite a bit over the years. We started in 2006 after my ordeal with my health and being diagnosed type 2 diabetic. I went and looked for gyms all over town. I was so uncomfortable with who, you know, where my weight was and how I felt at the gyms during my weight loss journey. So when I finally lost the weight, we were just observing how ridiculous the typical commercial gym is for grown-ups with real jobs and real fitness needs and who weren't already fitness people. And we both looked at it and said, man, we could really start a successful business by catering to people who weren't already fit, by catering to people who needed help, by being a different type of gym. And we've slowly evolved our business from a little 2,000 square foot, one location operation, expanded that a few times, and now we've got six locations located throughout Sacramento and in Reno and more coming. Honestly, the first part of the mission was let's just empower people who had been previously maybe demeaned or left to be shamed or uh, left out of the typical uh, fitness culture. You know, that train's left the station for them and many of them have given up completely on getting to that healthy point in their life because they know that they weren't going to get fit at a big box gym. Slowly but surely, we've been able to build a very successful practice with great coaches and trainers who genuinely care about people at all fitness level and we've differentiated ourselves by uh, reaching out to the people who need the help the most, not focusing on the 10-15% of the market who are already fit and just looking for the closest gym to their house. But what motivates me to make a difference now is number one is that it's a pretty unlikely scenario for me to be where I'm at. And I recognize it's a gift and it's, it's a blessing. And as far as the story I thought my life would be, isn't supposed to have happened. And the reality of it is whether it's where I started you know, in terms of, of, of my mom raising us and then my grandmother, and then just getting out of this, so many situations in life. I've been hit by a truck, I've rolled over vehicles, I've had diabetes, type two diabetes was my diagnosis and my blood sugar was over 400 and my hemoglobin a A1C was 13, I realized that there's purpose behind why you get through all of that. It's not, you don't just get those blessings just because, and they're not to be wasted and, and you're gonna run out of tomorrows one day. And I don't wanna go and miss all of these signs that, hey, I've gotten another chance, I'm here, I'm still alive, I'm healthy. That's not a chance, that's the real deal. I've been blessed and if I can somehow uh, tap into that for somebody else, as I've been so lucky to do, and then do it multi multiple times over, I just can't think of any better way to spend the rest of my days than having uh, the opportunity to give somebody else an opportunity to continue and improve themselves and take themselves out of a situation that they might feel stuck in or they might not uh, know that they could have a better future in front of them and be able to do that it's, it's really you know I'm, I'm really starting to realize that's in fact my calling it's not an accident that I've gone through all of those struggles it's kind of I'm here now with purpose and, and for a reason and feel real connected to that now.